Tim here from, uh, uh, again, Cheap Tech. I can't even remember the name of the site. I've had a long day. My stepmom is sick. I know you don't care about that. But let's just say I've been here and 60 miles away and had to get transported by other people. So then you're stuck with them all day and miss a day of work and they finally got me home and I went to sleep and I'm just exhausted. Uh, don't get old. Trust me. Okay, so tonight we're going to talk about the uh, uh, Xiaomi Mi A2. It got the latest security update. We'll talk about that right after the intro. Hi folks, Tim here just cutting in. Quick message about TubeBuddy.com. As you will see coming up on the screen right now, TubeBuddy is the premier tool for helping you edit and maintain your presence as a creator on YouTube. It integrates flawlessly. They have a free version. Uh, it goes right into your browser and you use it as you're you know, doing your editing and, uh, and uploading. And it, it's an excellent tool. Uh, as far as prices go, the price is coming up on the screen. Um, if you get the free version, a lot of times they'll offer you, uh, they'll make you an offer. They made me an offer and I'm only paying $4 and 50 cents a month. So check it out at the link that you're going to see on the screen and at the link below, uh, www.tubebuddy.com forward slash high-end cheap tech. And now let's get back to that video we were doing. All right, folks. I'm back. We had to put the ad in there. And uh, we're going to talk about the Mi A2. It's an Android One phone. It, it hasn't got Android 10 yet, but it did get the latest security patch. And this is kind of normal for Xiaomi. It's about two weeks, week and a half down the road. Your best bet, every morning, just restart your phone. And if you're in a Wi-Fi area, boom, you'll be doing good. So we're up to the December 5th patch. Picture coming up on the screen. Yep, there you go. You've seen it. And uh, I wasn't lying, was I? No, of course I wasn't. I like Android One phones, and that's one of the reasons I still want to get my hands on the Mi A3, even with the stupid notch and the 720 display, just because... Well, I can expand the storage. I have to worry about the storage on this one. And, you know, that's not your problem. Nor is it mine as long as I keep track of it. I mean, I got like 20 gig free at a 45, 46 gig free after installing Android whatevers. And it bazillion apps so what else do I have to start? oh we have picked up a few subscribers lately and I appreciate them I appreciate all of you who watch the entire videos and subscribe just make sure you spread the message we only give you good stuff here and we try to save you money. We're not going to tell you to go out and buy the latest Samsung uh, super expensive phone or Huawei. We'll leave that to the rich guys who have, you know, 3 to 7 to 15 million subscribers. Uh, 
But I did see something good. Go to Lou Later's page, and he'll tell you about this whole controversy on a Lou Later case. <sighs> he did not buy it, as some of the folks out there would have you believe. Sorry, got to have a puff of smoke. Oh, that's bad for you. Guy with a bad heart, smoke it. Yeah, well, got to say something. And I'm dying anyway. Uh, but he uh, explained the whole situation. Pataka did not make a case like the one he, quote, yeah, had made. And he gives you 30 minutes of good, solid info on what he did and how he ended up making the later case. If you watch his channel or if you don't and you've just seen the negative reports, watch watch what he has to say. He kind of let us sit for like five days, which I thought was bad, but I guess he wanted to make it really good. And he did a wonderful job of explaining it, and all of his other people owe him an apology, who were like, oh, Lou, you're a bastard, yeah, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, no. He... Uh, actually bought a tool to make the case for $13,000. Hell, I don't make that much in a year in my current job, which, by the way, go to the description below and send us a donation so I can at least buy more stuff out of my little tiny salary or wages I make every week until I retire and that's another story I am going to uh, be calling the Social Security Administration tomorrow and see if I can retire early because I should get a pretty damn good pension from our Social Security payment based on the years I worked at Underedge's Labs I was making tons of money. Of course, I spent it all being single and racing motorcycles, flying airplanes, you name it. So, all that. And that way, I'll be able to give you folks more videos for the time I have left on this planet. That's all I have for tonight. If you have any comments, leave feedback below. Make sure you like, make sure you share, and make sure you subscribe to our channel. Every subscriber gets us one step nearer to a thousand. Once we get that, we might be able to show some ads on here other than the ad you saw earlier. <coughs> <laughs> which I had to insert, <laughs> you know, homemade ad for a, a company, an affiliate. And supposedly we have a future sponsor. I am not putting up any more ads for them until they actually contact me. Disc drill. They're okay. I mean, it's a good product, as far as I can tell. But I ain't offering any more free ads to them. So have a great night. Check it out. At the end, there'll be a couple of recent posts up here. Uh, and that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching.